I wanted a duffel bag so that I could store this in the rental car quite easily so it kind of can bend and move to whatever we have in there. Also, I wanted something that I could get dirty and I wouldn't really care about because we'll be camping a lot and moving around and such. I think it's gonna work. I think everything is going to fit. My only concern is weight at this point. So I have to somehow make it under 50 pounds and I'm really concerned that <laughs> I'm not going to be able to. So if that's the case, I'm gonna have to start taking out things and really bringing the bare minimum, which I think is going to happen anyway. So um, we'll see. Worst case, I can kind of over stack or over pack my carry-on um, and wear a bunch of extra clothes. So it'll just be inconvenient, but we'll see how it goes. All right, let's see if this baby will hold everything. Wish me luck. <laughs> dry bag. I'm hoping I don't have to use this, but good to have just in case. Okay, here is the most important part. The tent. Well, argu arguably one of the most important parts. Um, these are some things that I can bring on my carry-on, so I'm not too concerned about them. But I got all of the major camping stuff in there, so that's not bad. I think we did quite good. Now let's weigh this. This is the moment of truth. Not bad. 45 pounds. I forgot I had this too. You gotta have a first aid kit. Definitely. That also was fitting in there too, so. bring the chalk on the plane with me. Um, so I'm gonna sh shove that back into the um, check luggage, just in case. I'm sure it'd be fine, but just to avoid kind of a, a discussion maybe. Yay, I did it! So that went a lot better than I expected. I really thought that this was gonna be overweight and at 47 pounds, it's practically there so I really have no room to add anything later even though I probably will think of things to add later on this week. This little guy I think I might swap out for a bigger day pack just because although everything fits in here I can't really get to anything so I might swap this out I haven't decided yet um, but I think it did okay. I also have my shoes on the outside just because there's really it takes up a lot of room here. Um, I also had to pack my shoes with my day pack just in case my luggage was lost because we're going to Red Rocks but we are actually flying to Edmonton first for Nationals and then flying to Red Rocks from Nationals so I have to make sure I have my shoes when I arrive. No exception. So if they lose my luggage and my shoes are in there, I'm kind of screwed. So I'm bringing those with me just in case. I don't have to worry about that and I have them. And my um, personal item could be slightly bigger too, so I'm pretty close to maxing out everything, but I still have some room here to kind of bring bigger items. So worst case, I can just bring some bigger bags. Otherwise, I think it's good. I'm getting really stoked for Red Rocks. I'm so excited. I haven't looked at boulder problems yet, so I'm going to be doing that in the next week or so. Um, super stoked. It's going to be a good time, and I'm looking forward to showing you guys. Um, 
some videos and posts about my trip as well, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks for watching my video on packing. I hope it was somewhat entertaining because it was slightly stressful for me, but it's all over with, so I'm gonna go have supper now and just enjoy the fact that my packing is done two weeks in advance. Get that, two weeks in advance. All right, thanks for watching, bye!